Klopp did very much push the domestic cups to one side but I think that was sort of circumstances played into that as well I think he didn't have the squad at disposal yeah. first and foremost to prioritise all four competitions like he does now that's the that's the first thing to probably say but also it's 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 been said a million times before but the, the, the draws weren't very kind I remember going to Wolves away on a Friday night in the FA Cup third round I mean it's not ideal when you haven't got like I say the, the depth that you'd probably like to use I think we lost Dejan Lovren early in the game as well and Kijana Hoover comes yeah, on and straight away game. you're like oh, this isn't going to happen to Night, is it basically you know what I mean so you need a little I'm bit of luck playing that one as well yeah I think you might have done yeah you need a little bit of luck along the way if you are going to go deep into these cup competitions if you haven't got the players that you'd like but yeah I think ultimately I think now we're in the semi-final stage um, I think it's definitely a competition we'd like to go and win 100% I think we've been able to use the squad wisely the Arsenal game included I think obviously Virgil van Dijk might be back involved if he's over his illness you've got Gravenberg and Jota both there sort of needing yeah. minutes you'd probably say both of them we've seen last night the youngsters can step up and do a job when required as well so it'd be interesting to see if some of them get a bit more of a look in maybe Bobby Clark I think he would have been involved a lot more this season were it not for his injury but ultimately for me what it boils down to now is obviously the schedule's definitely eased compared to the festive one anyway so Klopp will be more accepting of going again with the same sort of lads but the lack of minutes in the Liverpool players legs is what sort of standing us in the best possible stead for this little period now compared to some of our rivals because obviously Arsenal and Manchester City have had Champions League to contend with so they've not been able to rotate as heavily as we have in the Europa League group stages so that I said it before when you are going through a rebuild or a transition season or whatever you want to call this from a Liverpool point of view having Europa League is a blessing like we would have absolutely bitten anybody's hand off a Champions League footy of course we would but that might not have meant we were in the situation we were in now because it would have been more testing on some of our key players and stuff like that so I actually think missing out on Champions League could have been the best thing that happened to us last season Question for you then have we got a good enough squad to go for all four this season? Yeah 100% 100% we have yeah absolutely Chloe, it's not liking it. Um, no, <laughs> we've got five front line forwards. The defense is where I raise an eyebrow, certainly with centre backs, because both Canate and Quanta went down last night, and I was like, oh my god, this is terrible news. Midfield, when they're all fit, which is incredibly rare, Stefan Bajetis and Thiago in particular, we've got like nine central midfielders essentially. If you go as deep as Bajetic and like Bobby Clark, yeah, we can, we can do this. Sure. Why not? Josh, um, go on. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, yeah, think, I think we do. I think we've got more depth than when we went for the quad. 100%. Yeah. I think we're stronger off the bench now as well, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. I think that's what it looks like to me, but maybe not as strong. And we've in got the fewer injury prone players as well, by the way. Like um, when we went for the quad, we had we had Navi, we had Ox. Um, we're more reliant on Thiago and he was. Shikini, yeah. Is Shikini still around then? Or? No. I don't think he was, but it feels gone. like the, the midfielders that we've got now, especially Pat, with the exception of Bessetic and Thiago, are just. You know, available virtually every week, and if they pick up enough to they recover quickly. So I'd, yeah, I'd like another left back first before I say it, just in terms of one of them coming back. A proper left back. No, no, one, one of them, them coming back. back. Okay. Not like getting pitched well, and something. Well, it looks a simicast. It might be about a couple of days. Away. <laughs> that was a bit mad. That was it. Like, have you seen this? He yeah, put a post yeah. out. Was it Friday or not something? Long now. Not long now. Pookie collarbone last night. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, like he's he's pulled a photo from like weeks ago or something there. But like, why was he just running and? Trabs like you just wouldn't like that's what happens when you're in rehab. It's not, it looks like he's not long now to me. Yeah. It looked like he was coming back. I'm gonna you know, throw the same question at you then, Dan. So, sorry, mate. I'm gonna throw on. the same question. Are we have we got a strong enough squad to go for all four if we were in the Champions League? No, no. <laughs> why? Just because of the minutes and the demands it puts on plays. Mohamed Salah, I, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but Mohamed Salah would have played another. 100, 200 minutes potentially on what he's done already. Same with Virgil van Dijk, same with other key players. So Bosley, we used him for every single minute early on in the season, didn't we? That would have been the same in the Champions League. They wouldn't have been afforded anywhere near as much rest or rotation, even in-game. That's not just not starting games. That's the ability to take Mohamed Salah off or Sabozlai off or Virgil van Dijk, whoever it may be. It's the ability to pull them out of the firing line when the game's wrapped up, certainly in the Europa competition, because we before we sort of trying to decide who Liverpool actually got beat by because it was so irrelevant by the time the fourth game had been played in the group stage. It just didn't matter anymore. We went to went to Belgium or fans with kids, essentially, and just no one was bothered by that point. You know what I mean? But, and Klopp, that's but because to be fair to Klopp, he has rotated in the Champions League. I think we've got the depth regardless of the competition. Like I, I, But I think the problem would be if you were in the Champions League because that just demands a bit more quality and a bit more just effort to win games and that. I think we'd maybe have like I don't know, two fewer points in the Premier League or something like that if we yeah. went for the Champions League with the, in, in the same way and 
um, maybe we'd have just lost to Arsenal last night rather than winning um, and, and progressing through into the next round. So I think that's where it hurts you. But I think depth, depth wise, I think we've got probably the best depth in the Premier League. I think. How often were we fighting those on the, on the final match day of the Champions League to make sure we got through? That felt like a thing. Obviously, the Napoli game is the one that stands out. But I remember the one in Denmark where it was already wrapped up, really. Yeah, well, we, we got 18 points. We were we every game. And then yeah. we got 15 points. Was it last season? Did we get 15 points last season? I'm not sure. We, and we didn't even finish top of the group? No, we no, didn't. We, yeah. didn't stop. Yeah. we played Bermuda, well, didn't we, so... Or was it the year before where we got 15 points or something? I just think, like, like I, said, I just think the ability to not play your best players minute in, minute out in Europe has, has helped us get as far as we have in terms of domestic cups and in terms of being in the Premier League as well. It's helped us go to the well. Because we're seeing lads now. We're talking last night about lads needing minutes. We're talking midweek about lads that might need minutes now, albeit some of that's down to injury. But there's lads there that have not been able to get into a rhythm at any point in the season because they've just not been able to get into the team. Mm. Curtis Jones falls into that category a little bit. Harvey Elliott definitely does. So it's been an absolute blessing in disguise for me. 